Hi my friends, it's Ro, welcome back. Today, I have a glare on my glasses. Hey my friends, it's Ro, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about a tweet that Chrissy Teigen tweeted out that she found on one of the pregnancy apps that I actually use very frequently. It's called the Peanut app, where somebody was talking about the terms geriatric pregnancy, advanced maternal age, things like that, and how it bothered her because in her mind, she's still a relatively young woman. As a woman who is 42 years old, pregnant with my first child, I am also considered a geriatric pregnancy. I've joked about it before saying that made me more nauseous than morning sickness. So if you're interested in hearing the video that the first woman created, Chrissy Teigen's take on it, and then other people's takes, feelings, and then my two cents, then here it is. First of all, I am digging my outfit today. I'll pop a picture of it up there. I changed into leggings just because Adam and I are hanging out, doing a Friday night thing. That's the first time I actually feel like I went out looking like I was really sporting my bump and I had fun with it. Let's start with the original post from the woman who was feeling after her doctor told her she was geriatric. So I just got in my doctor's office and he told me as a woman over 35, I'm now considered a geriatric mom. And that if I were to become pregnant, there could be high risk complications. And I just can't help but feel really inadequate and guilty right now that I'm lacking as a woman because I decided to pursue the things I love and build my career. It's really unfortunate that the term geriatric mom doesn't take into account that a woman's mental health is just as important as her physical health. And I should feel, or I deserve to feel hopeful and empowered. And instead, I just feel so shitty right now. It sucks. Okay, so that's the original video that Chrissy Teigen just happened to stumble upon. Can I just say like a little starstruck that I've been posting on this app for five months and I didn't know Chrissy Teigen was on there reading things? Hello, do you love her? I love her. I think she's absolutely hysterical. I think her children are the cutest things in the whole entire world. And I have to say like I've always had the biggest little crush on John Legend because his voice is to die for. But I love them together. Just like I was saying with Donnie and Jenny, I love Chrissy and John together. I just think they're the cutest. So anyway, that's a total tangent. So on the Peanut app, they posted, we're helping Chrissy Teigen call out outdated terminology. Yesterday, Chrissy Teigen, yes, the Chrissy Teigen, spotted a video posted on Peanut by a woman whose doctor told her she'd be geriatric if she fell pregnant at 35. This started a viral Twitter thread of women sharing the negative terms they've experienced through fertility, pregnancy, and motherhood, including incompetent cervix, inhospitable womb, and spontaneous abortion with like a mind blown emoji. With Chrissy's help, we wanna call out this outdated terminology, but first we wanna hear from you, our community. What other terms have you experienced? Share your stories in the comments below. There are 951 posts on this thread. So I obviously cannot read all of them, but I do wanna read some of them because there were various opinions I'd love to know your opinions in the comments below. I kind of see both sides of this. I'm trying to find the one I loved the most. I wish there was a way for me to, well, I should have taken a screenshot, but I didn't. Is it offensive? I personally wouldn't be offended as it highlights higher risk. I would want everyone that helps along the way to know I am just in case it was missed and caused an issue. Maybe that's just me. I think one thing we have to consider is the term has been used for medical purposes, this being without the intent to hurt people's feelings or offend them. If we change the term to say something else that women today feel is more appropriate, who is to say that in the future the next generation will not do the same? This is something that's so subjective because at the end of the day, some women aren't comfortable in general with their age. I think we need to pick our battles and the term geriatric is one of the last issues on the list of maternal care issues that needs addressing. This is just my opinion, I'm not trying to offend. So then somebody else commented back, I can only speak for my own views. I feel as I would be second guessing or assuming how somebody else would feel. But my main worry, and someone else said it perfectly, is if we enforce change on medical terms, we need to be careful it isn't going to trip up medical staff or not be labeled correctly. In my view, call me whatever you want, just make sure you monitor me and my baby 
baby in the best way you can. I understand that isn't the same as thousands of others who've been treated unfairly. I just find compartmentalizing terms easier than most, I think. We need to address how it's used, maybe rather than the fact that it is used. In another decade, the new term might be offensive. That's also another worry. I just laugh at the term really. 35 with my first, 40 with my second, 43 now pregnant with it, my third. The midwives have said advanced maternal age, which doesn't really bother me. I feel good, I'm exercising and eating well, and I've been told I'm not high risk. Is it really offensive language though? They are medical terms, and now we are asking hospitals to change diagnosis terminology in case it offends somebody. And then somebody responded to her, it makes a big difference to the patient on the receiving end. When doctors have referred to my son as my baby, this had made me feel cared for. Whereas those who referred to him as a stillborn or even a pregnancy loss, this has affected me days afterwards. If anyone refers to my experience as a miscarriage instead of a stillbirth, this makes me feel like they are minimizing my pain. It doesn't take a huge amount of effort to just choose words a bit more carefully and can make the world of a difference to the patient. It seems some people got offended for the sake of getting offended. Everyone is valid in how they feel. I think she's saying, of course, but some look for things to get offended or annoyed at. I've noticed this a lot. Okay, this one's good. I don't have an issue with the term geriatric. We all know our childbearing years are limited and the later years include extra risks. No one should be surprised when a doctor points that out. Advanced maternal age is literally the same thing and if you think it's less offensive, that's your imagination. What is offensive are doctors asking questions like, why'd you wait so long? They have no right to pry into your family planning decisions like that. Maybe you only recently settled in with a great partner or you've been trying and failing for years. It doesn't matter. The doctor's only concern is that you're pregnant now and you need great care. That's awesome. I feel it's offensive when people say fall fell pregnant. I feel this belittles your decision to start a family like every pregnancy just happens to you either by accident or just effortlessly. So many women struggle with fertility and implying that every pregnancy was a misstep that just happened to them is wrong. Not trying to stir the pot, but what would you suggest as an alternative for this one? I also had an emergency C-section for the same reason and I imagine any language used would invoke the same feelings. It's the situation that's upsetting, not the words used. When something is attempted and not successful, that by definition is failure. I don't think there's any way around using the word in those situations. My experience wasn't the terminology used, but what was said. I felt shamed by the midwives at my appointments and even in the hospital, and also my own family members, in fact, for not choosing to breastfeed. One midwife said, what? You're not even gonna try? I think it's a personal preference and we shouldn't be pressured into it. A few hours after my son was born, a midwife came in to move us to a different ward, but my son needed feeding first. She took him and then the bottle and said, it'll be quicker if I did it. I could have cried on the spot. She made me feel an inch tall and didn't even ask my permission before she picked up my baby and fed him. The term bad mom upsets me, you think? It's only offensive because this particular woman doesn't like her age being part of the question. Just because someone takes offense to something doesn't automatically make that thing offensive. I agree with that. If that were the case, literally everything could be offensive. Geriatric is not an offensive term in and of itself. It's a medically accurate description. Somebody else might find advanced maternal age to be just as offensive. It just kind of seems like she's sensitive about her age and doesn't want it referred to. That part I get, but you can't make everyone bend to your will just because you feel emotional about a word. It's just a discussion so that terminology can be modernized. Just as words like retarded are rude to use nowadays, but at one time we're fine. If people are sharing terminology that they've been labeled in the comments, I don't think it means they're just offended. It means something stuck with them about a way something was said during the time that was especially hard or challenging. And maybe people are just being looked at and treated as numbers instead of an individual experience. And that's why it's easier to use such terminology. I think that should get compassion and understanding and not just summed up as being offended. I see what she's saying here too. Okay, I can't find the other one because again, there's almost a thousand posts on here. If I do, I will come back and I will add it to this video. I will try. But basically it was a medical professional and she was saying that they as medical professionals have to speak the same language to provide the best care for mama, baby, and everybody across the board. Therefore, there's medical terminology that they use to define certain things. That is not offensive. She said, however, Doctors should get to learn their patients and know them well enough to know how and what terminology to use with them. I thought it was brilliant the way she posted it. I'm gonna really search to see if I can find it. 
I'm really disappointed in myself that I didn't screenshot it. My opinion as somebody who is a geriatric patient, yes, I joke around about it being vomiting and nauseous and da da da, but a lot of that is what that woman was saying about that's us being in our feelings. I've never been accepting of my age. I dye my gray hairs, I hate my wrinkles, I hate my saggy skin and all that stuff. It's just who I am. So when somebody comes and shines a flashlight on that, a laser pointer on that, if you're already insecure or a highly sensitive person or in your feelings or hormonal, I understand with my whole heart why that feels offensive. Do I think the woman in the original post was a little bit in her feelings? Absolutely. I would have been the same way. Remember, hormones, insecurity, all of that stuff goes a long way. As somebody who puts my life on Front Street and who posts on social media all day long, I've been on the receiving end of comments where people don't like my terminology. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You can't appease everybody. You can't appeal to everybody. But doctors need to use the same terminology in order to communicate and understand each other across the board. Can that terminology be updated? Absolutely. How many times throughout the years, at least in my 42 years, have doctors referred to one thing one way and then years later the same thing with different words? They update it. Should they update geriatric pregnancy? I don't have a problem with them updating it. I also don't really have a problem being told I'm an advanced maternal age. I am. <laughs> I don't mind being considered high risk because there are more risks that come along with having children at an older age. A doctor said it to one of my friends. He was like, I think she was like 33 or 34. He's like, you're not old, but your eggs are old. I find that to be offensive. And I think that boils down to bedside manner versus medical terminology. Totally not OBGYN related, but a story to make my point. When my mother was in remission from her cancer. She asked her doctor, cause she had to get her tumor markers checked quite frequently to make sure that the cancer wasn't back and she was still in remission. Well, this one time she asked the doctor, when she was remission, her numbers looked good. She said, what are the odds of my cancer coming back? And I couldn't stand her doctor after this. I thought she had the worst bedside manner. This is one of many examples. But she said to her, oh, you don't wanna know. I mean, if you really want to know, I'll tell you, but you really don't want to know. You just answered her without answering her and you just scared the ever living bejesus out of her. So my mom's like, well, now I do. And she said some ridiculously high, like 80, 90% chance. Within four months, my mother's cancer was back because all she did was focus on the fact that 90% chance that her cancer was coming back. She was planning her funeral as she was leaving the doctor's office. That, my friends, is bedside manner. That is a doctor that did not know how to deliver medical terminology and med medical statistics properly. She could have said something along the lines of, we're monitoring you really closely. That really doesn't matter. I could tell you if you wanna know, but it's just a number. It's just a statistic. Everybody's body is different. It depends on how you're treating yourself now. You need to get outside and exercise, get fresh air, water, good food, and we'll keep you as healthy as we possibly can for as long as we possibly can. And if and when the day ever comes, that it comes back, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. She just said the same thing as, you don't wanna know. So there's a lot to be said for bedside matter. When my doctor first confronted me, my first appointment about my age, all she said was, you are considered high risk because of your age. I can send you to high risk facility. I personally do not think that with your health record, with your test results, with your medical background, not medical background, but like your, I'm in perfect health. She said, I don't think that it's, necessary for you to go there, but I absolutely want you to be comfortable. They do monitor you more closely. They watch for this, that, and the other thing. You'll have appointments more frequently. They'll scan the baby more often. So it's absolutely up to you. And when at that point I said, I didn't feel that it was necessary. I feel perfectly fine and great. She said, I agree. I don't think it's necessary for you to go there. She did tell me because of my age, she will not let me go past my due date because of the risk of stillborn. That's medical terminology. That's a medical fact that freaked me the hell out. But at the same time, something that she had to tell me, she delivered it in a way where she was like, we're going to keep you and baby as safe and healthy as possible, but here's a risk you need to know about. She didn't dwell on it. She wasn't like, we're not letting you go a minute past your due date because we don't want you to have a stillborn. And that's, ah, 
high possibility, 99%. Do you see what I'm saying? It's about delivery. The other thing is when you're in your mind about something, you're gonna take offense regardless. Just like the woman who told me that I talk too much about my pregnancy and how dare I, and my page is all about me, 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 and my videos are all about me, 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 and she was leaving because she can't have kids. And while my heart breaks for her, and I understand that it hurts her, that was her reading into me, providing all of this information for free to my friends online and my family because we've hung out for the past nine years together here on YouTube, she perceived it as me just wanting to talk about me and Adam and our baby now all the time. It's in her head. There are certain terms that trip people up, that people get stuck on. In my opinion, a lot of times it's semantics. Let's use the example of my prison wife life. There is always this struggle between calling a prisoner, a person who's incarcerated, an inmate. A lot of women will be like, my inmate, my loved one, and use that in a positive way to describe the person that they're in love with. A ton of people come back and they're so offended by that because they're like, he's a person, he's not an inmate. So this woman named Carolyn, who we work closely with at the Prisoner Family Conference, she's an amazing soul. She started it, she runs it, she founded the whole organization. She reached out and she asked a whole bunch of incarcerated people how they like to be referred to. Is inmate offensive? And they were like, it's not offensive to me. I am one right now. When I asked Adam about it, his response was the exact same. Like, you're not saying I'm just an inmate. I'm a loser inmate or anything like that. The term inmate never bothered me, but I got my wrist slapped for using it quite a few times on Facebook and on YouTube by other prison wives who were offended by it. I think that's in your head. A term that I used to hate was the word celly, which is your cellmate, the person, your roommate, the person you share your room with in prison. I hated it because I was in my feelings. It just brought me to this place where I felt like he was living in a dungeon, a cell, which I mean he was, but it broke my heart to think of him living there. So every time somebody said celly, I would kind of shrink and cringe, but that was all here. He does live in a cell. That's the person that he shares his cell with, his cellmate, his celly. I just try not to get tripped up in words and semantics, but I'm still hypersensitive. I'm just one of those HSPs, highly sensitive people. I think in today's society especially, everybody wants to get offended about something. We're really, at the end of the day, we're the most insecure population in the world, myself included. I just think everybody wants to fight. I'm telling you, go back and watch The Social Dilemma and it'll explain so much to you. But everybody's been put in their own little social bubble where all they are fed in their social media feeds are things that they see, their views of things, and it's all fed back to them all day long. So it creates this world where you don't know how to debate, you don't know how to handle people who are not your yes men, who do not have the exact same views as you, and you do not know how to interact with people who healthily have objecting views to yours. There's nothing wrong with respectfully disagreeing with one another. I do, in this situation, see both sides of it. It didn't feel very good when I was considered a geriatric pregnancy, I also made a joke out of it. I know that I could have had a baby at 21 years old with my ex if I planned it and wanted to, but I didn't want to. I waited for Adam. I waited to get pregnant. I knew that either I would be an older mother or I would never get the opportunity to get pregnant. And I've been okay with that. So when you tell me I'm geriatric, I'm just thinking I have a miracle baby in my belly. I don't care how old I am. I'm going to be fine. I think it's a matter of this woman, like somebody said, was just really in her feelings, which I respect. She's allowed to feel her feelings. She's allowed to get offended and hurt by some certain things. She's also very allowed to switch doctors and go to somebody who has better bedside manner and makes her feel better about trying to get pregnant after 34 with twins. I just found out one of my friends was 34 years old and told geriatric because with twins, they take off a year or 35 for singleton and above. Do we need to change the terminology? I don't think it's necessary. Can we update the terminology and have everybody on the same page with a different word? I don't think that that would be a problem. I'm so in the middle on this one. What are your guys' thoughts? Have you been offended by this? Have you had doctors with horrible bedside manner? What do you think of the term geriatric pregnancy for somebody 34 with twins or 35 with a singleton and over? Does that bother you? Or being considered high risk? Because somebody else said, yeah, it's high risk, but every pregnancy is high risk. I get both sides. The, the scales are going back and forth for me in my head as somebody who is literally sitting in the boat of being a geriatric patient at 42 years old. 
pregnant. If you're interested in more videos with me, click one of the videos that pops up on the screen, or you can always go back on my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to see you join the family. Just click the circle that pops up, or if you don't see that, the red box below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.